after a while you may feel like that. I felt like that for about five years <laughs> as God deconstructed my mind and exploded what I thought I knew. Um, so if you feel like that at any point during the time we're together, don't run. <laughs> Embrace it, because we all need our minds renewed. When, when we got Mike's letter and he said, I want to invite you to come speak at a conference on restoration of all things, no holes barred. I told my daughter, I don't even have to pray about that. You call him right now and tell him I'm coming. Because you may not know this, I have waited 40 years for this meeting. And I am very, very, very excited just to be with you all today. No wonder the earth is groaning. How long before these guys get it? You can hear the earth groaning saying, come on, come on, come on, guys. What he wants to do this week is he wants to move us out of a place of complacency. He wants to move us out of that place where somebody else will do it. Nobody else is going to do it, guys. It's our job. These are the questions we need to ask. Like, how far can I go? What am I capable of? What's already inside me as a new kinos, new being, new in form and quality, not like the first Adam. And so many churches talk about the first Adam. We're going back to Genesis. You're not going back to Genesis. That's inferior to Jesus Christ, the new Adam, a new creation, the firstborn of many brothers, many sisters who look like him, act like him, sound like him. <laughs> 